Okay, this, as you can see, is Torrin. Uh, it's a game I first played at EGX Res, I think, last year. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, it's an indie game developed in Brazil. It has a nice aesthetic. Nice aesthetic. Um, it's a console style platformer. And uh, it has some issues. We'll, we'll, we'll say that up front. But it's an interesting game all the same. Uh, it's not too expensive. I, I picked it up in a bundle effectively for 50p or something. Uh, now. I'm going to load the first chapter and see what happens. The interesting thing, well, interesting as a Linux gamer, is there isn't an official Linux release for this game. Uh, the developer said maybe one day, see how it goes. I guess it didn't go too well because he seems to have disappeared off the, uh, off the forums. No one's heard from him for a while. But uh, a user discovered, I think they bought the uh, same bundle I did, that it was appearing in their Linux games list. And when they went and looked at the beta tab in Steam, there was a beta option. And having selected that option, it downloads a game. The game doesn't work, it says missing executable. Uh, but that's because the file, the file that comes down is uh, is uh, named dot exe there we go I unlocked the puzzle it's named dot exe and if you sim link the dot exe to uh, dot x86 you get a working game well that's what I can tell it's working oh. a bit of jag there with the sun rays so obviously not supported Scroll, I guess it's a clue. You must defy time, sacrifice your childhood, and you can free us all. So, yeah, it's totally unsupported, so buy at your own risk. As far as I know, though, as far as I can see, the game. It's completely functional on Linux. The only thing you don't get is achievements. seem to work as achievements. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any plan to uh, actually fix any of this stuff. So, you know, you're buying essentially an unfinished port of a game that is a little on the janky side to start with. to jump and climb. I'm not sure what we're jumping and climbing. Oh, that. Let's move the thing off. 
so there are a few issues with the actual gameplay one of which is one of which is the camera is strange uh, and your motion is linked to the camera in the style of console games so you do quite frequently get to see it um, you know, you suddenly veer off in weird directions because the camera moved when you weren't expecting it. Uh, I quite like the art style. I think it's clearly it's not a uh, high def thing. It's but it's uh, it's colourful. It's stylized. Uh, the, the, I like the bright red dress in the main character. What can I say? So, just to fill you in on, on sort of that plot stuff, uh, there's a dragon, there's a girl. Uh, as far as I can tell, the girl's job is to slay the dragon, and uh, you have to accomplish various platforming tasks to do that. If you hit Y at any time, that's what I'm doing there, it will zoom in on where your next objective is. As we uh, whiz around. Uh, oh, oh. So we're going to walk along this branch. thing to do. Oh, where are we? I think it might have been. Go up some more. So on the whole, fairly typical platforming stuff. There are some rather psychedelic sections. You, you have to enter your dreams and um, and complete uh, little little puzzles. To unlock, unlock things. I don't know if I'll get to one here. I'm just doing a short video, so we can grab onto that. No, can we go onto this? No, we can't do anything with that either. So this is a sort of puzzle. Side. Now I can control the camera, but it sort of bounces back as I do it. There we go. Oh, well, that is hanging down there. I presume now I can go back and push the other two out. Oh, I'll come up there or something. puzzle um, solved. We'll have a quick run around over here because there's a uh, often often hidden areas and uh, yeah bonus content and apparently bad guys. See, we are being going to pick up a sword in a bit, so we might as well go and do that before we go and fight those enemies. Let's see, jump onto that. Ooh, dragon. So here's the dragon. It does nasty things. Behind the 
Pulse. This little thing with a hat is one of the uh, dream sequences. So here we are in the uh, mythology of the game, I guess. It's, uh, it's a little weird like the rest of it. I'm quite liking it though, what I've played so far. Here we go. So this, I'm not sure if it's supposed to look like this, or this is just some weirdness because it's not actually finished yet. But it does look sort of dreamy and weird, which seems sort of reasonable. Now what does he have to do here? There we go. We have to go around. Go around the thing. Fill up the exclamation mark. There we go. We get some story. We get to uh, wander off into the uh, dream world, and uh, I'll basically be there. You've seen, you've seen uh, the game. It's, it's. A slightly strange story based uh, 3D platformer. Uh, definitely, you, you want to use a controller to play it. The uh, mouse and keyboard option is pretty terrible. The controller is just about manageable. And uh, yeah, not officially available for Linux. Uh, definitely not supported. Does seem to work apart from the achievements. Uh, so, I know. Don't pay full price for it, for sure. Get it in a big sale or grab it in a bundle. Uh, but an interesting game to uh, while away a few hours with. This is Torrent.